Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken another sum on isometric projection. Now to start with the isometric projection first we will calculate the total height that is 60. Then the total width is again 60 20 plus 20 plus 20. Written here 50 but it is 60 and the total depth of the figure is 50. So the three dimensions we have got that is 60, 60 and 50. Now we will first calculate or draw the cube according to these dimensions. So this is the center point O. From point O on the right side you can see we have to draw the front view. So right side will be the front view and the left side will be the left hand side view. So starting with the sum first we will draw the three angles that is 30 degree, 90 degree and 30 degree. We will draw light lines through them as you are drawing the isometric projection you are drawing on this angles. Now as I have mentioned earlier the front view will be on the right side. So first we will mark the height that is 60. Now right side will be the front view. So width is also 60 that is 20 plus 20 plus 20. So earlier I have written 50 it is 60. So the width of the front view is also 60. So I am marking here a point at a distance of 60 millimeter. And the depth we have already calculated that is 50. So this is the 50. Now using these three dimensions we will draw a cube or a rectangular box. The advantage of drawing the rectangular box is that our whole isometric figure will be inside this box only. So drawing the parallel lines through the start three reference lines. So this is our rectangular box. Now starting with the sum. Now first you can see from point O on the right side we have the front view that is the straight dark line. So this is the straight dark line. So we will draw it here. Now next you can see here you have the zigzag lines. Now this zigzag lines or the dark zigzag line denotes that there is a bent or there is a cut from that part. So we will draw those dark lines on this plane first. So this height is 20 then inwards it is also 20. So we will take this as the reference line. We will draw a light line here. This distance is 20 millimeter. So drawing a dark line here of 20 millimeter. Now again we have a straight line of 20 millimeter. So light line first. Then we will make it dark of 20 millimeter. So this is we are drawing the front view. Again we have a horizontal line of 20. The dimensions are given at the bottom. This distance is 20. And finally we will join it at the top. This final. We will complete this part. Draw this dark. Then draw a straight line. So these are all the straight dark lines we have drawn. Now from here it is inwards. If it was not inwards, it was a plane then it would have been not a dark lines. Now starting with the side view. So this depth given is 30 millimeter. You can see in the side view as well as in the top view. This distance is 30. Again this is going inwards from both the sides. Now here first we will draw extended the side view at the top. So this is the L shape which looks in the side view. So we are drawing it here. Again you can see the dark lines represents that there is a bent or cut inside. So from here it goes inside. We will complete the top view. So this is the top view again. This is a L shape. We will complete this part. Then we will draw the inward part. Drawing this dark. 
so now you can see how the dark lines are drawn first which makes it easier to understand now the inside part we will draw we'll take this line as the reference line from here we'll draw it inwards so this inwards is at a distance of 30 mm inside you can see it from the top view as well as from the left hand side view drawing a straight line from here from here joining this is like a steps of width 30 and height 20 so same thing we have to draw it extend this first draw it lightly then make it dark the intersection till the intersection from here we will draw a line which will intersect make it dark again from here the final part this is one of the most simplest sum as it doesn't have any curves just you have to understand how the sum is and you can draw it so this is our entire sum we have drawn the isometric we will just mark the dimensions and don't forget to mark the arrow x which represents the front view so see how I am marking the dimensions you have to mark the dimensions uh, with the same lines extending so this distance is 50 this is 60 mark all the dimensions given in the questions on your figure Finally, the arrow X, which represents the front view. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe. If you have any doubts, any queries, let me know in the comment section. You can also connect with me on Instagram.